So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about five ways you guys can grow your own print on demand business. I'm gonna be giving you information based on some of the things that I've done and some of the things that have worked for me. If you are ready for this one, please do drop a like as that'll be very much appreciated. And with that said, let's jump straight into the video. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand stores. Now, if you are new around here and you haven't already, please do take a moment to click on that subscribe button with the notification bell switched on. That way you won't miss out on any future videos. We've helped a lot of people to make their first online sales through sites like Redbubble. So if you do need any extra information, I do actually have a free print on demand starter guide that's linked down in the description alongside a paid step-by-step -step guide for anyone looking to turn this into more of a full-time thing. Print on demand is something that could be a little bit tricky, whether you're looking to do it as a hobby, a part-time or a full-time thing, but it is something that's very doable if you put the time in to do a little bit of research to see what you need to do. One of the most difficult things with print on demand is getting the sales flowing, but once the sales start coming in, it's what to do next that's then the main issue now within this video the five main things i'm going to be talking about are going to be things to help people that have already started getting sales these same things are also very usable for anyone starting up that way they kind of know what to do when they get to a point where the sales do start coming in now the first thing you want to start off by doing is creating multiple stores once again this goes mainly towards the people that have started to get sales Creating multiple stores will allow you to increase your profits, obviously, after you've done the research. Now, you don't want to just create multiple stores from the get-go. Once you're on Redbubble, you want to build a store, make sure it's a general niche store where you can test out a variation of niches. And then from that, you want to see which niches perform better for you and then open up individual stores based on those singular niches. Now, it's something that may seem a little bit more complicated than it actually is at the start. But simply put, you want to create one store. You upload as many different things, different styles as you want. Look to see which styles are getting sales, are getting traffic, and then see if you can make niche-based stores off that. This is something that's worked amazingly for me. It's worked amazingly for some of you guys as you've left comments over time. And for those that are wondering if you can create more than one store on sites like Redbubble, the answer is yes. And it's something you should most definitely be looking into. The next thing you want to do if you're looking to obviously grow your print on demand business is to automate. Now, this is something that's key, especially if you have more than one store automating will allow you to save time time that can be put into research into what's actually selling what's doing well or even prepping for holidays and automation like i said will save you a lot of time and at the end of the day time is actually more valuable than money because you can always make money but you can never make time back so automation is very very important with my print on demand stores i use pod connect to automate things and i mean it's something that's very easy to use you can learn how to use this effectively in roughly half an hour to an hour and once you know how to use this how to get all your designs pretty much automated in terms of the upload process it will make life a lot easier for you pod connect work with redbubble merch by amazon etsy spreadshirt and a lot of different other sites and it's just great to have a tool that can allow you to kind of increase your workflow if you're interested in checking out pod connect even for a free trial i have an affiliate link that's linked down in the description that you can check out and this is something that's been very very vital in growing my own print and demand business third thing once again along the same lines of saving time is outsourcing outsourcing is very very important it will mainly save you time on making designs if you're looking to make high quality designs. I would only ever recommend it to people who have designs that they know are going to sell or designs they've sold, but are looking to improve. I mean, Fiverr is a great site to use when outsourcing. And you can find people like this guy here that will make you original custom t-shirt designs for your print on demand business, as you can see there. And I mean, you can always get communicating with people, talking to people and build your own little small team of designers that you can outsource 
boss too and this will allow you to just keep progressing further faster not having to worry too much about the design end of things if you happen to be a designer yourself and you don't want to outsource but you just want to get ideas or templates that you can edit yourself the sites like vexels out there that will allow you to actually download templates that you can use but with vexels you do need to have a monthly subscription either way they both help you with the design aspect of things and i feel firefer in terms of outsourcing if you have multiple shops will make life a lot easier for you and if you want to check out fiverr i've actually got an affiliate link down in the description that will take you straight to fiverr and you can have a look through to see if there's any artist you'd want to work with the fourth thing you want to be doing is making sure that you have a good base of evergreen designs as evergreen designs are what's going to allow you to keep making sales in the long term i usually talk about trending designs but evergreen designs are the things that are going to give you consistent sales all year round and allow you to grow your print and demand business especially if you have multiple stores and for anyone who doesn't know how to find evergreen designs effectively i use merch informer to get a good idea of things that are performing consistently and with merch informer they have an inbuilt tool that allows you to check this so on product research you can go on merch hunter it allows you to select a range in regards of bsr and price range in terms of performance of t-shirts on amazon all this means is with the bsr the lower the number is the better performing shirt is i usually put it around the 1 to 250 region price i put it between roughly 1 and 20 dollars and then i just click search and pretty much this shows you the best performing t-shirt designs on amazon on the us marketplace which is currently the most popular marketplace in regards of t-shirt sales now it takes a little bit to load once it does load you actually get a list of a lot of t-shirts that are performing very well as you guys can see here one thing to note with this is that some of the things that pop up are trademarked so anything you can see with the mtv you wouldn't want to go on it but anything you can see like this you can tell this isn't something that would be trademarked a lot of you guys may not be able to design something like this from scratch but this is where websites like fiverr come in or even vexels come in if you're looking to get graphics to do something similar to this the estimated sales on this is roughly 261 which is insane given the fact that when i usually do my top 10 trends of the week videos some of the niches and trends i cover have estimated sales of between roughly four to eight i would say so 261 it's crazy and looking through this you kind of get a good idea of what evergreen designs are so for example this t-shirt that says i'm not old i'm classic this is something that's been selling fairly consistently over the past 30 days and i'm pretty sure even past that it's been consistently selling and this will always allow you guys to get information of things that could potentially end up performing well and with holidays coming up such as halloween obviously some holiday based t-shirts kind of sneak in there but if you're looking for evergreen designs you need to just look for the basic looking simple designs that can kind of inspire you to create your own versions of them that could potentially do well now if this is something that you're interested in checking out i do actually have an affiliate link to merch informer it's linked down in the description and then finally kind of linked to what i just spoke about is making sure that you stay on top of seasonal trends this will work nicely alongside the evergreen designs you have and will allow you to maximize your yearly sales so you're making optimal profit especially if you have multiple shops another thing that can help you guys with your print on demand business is scaling designs and if you want to learn more about that check out this video right here as i talk about it a bit more if you've made it this far comment down pod life and always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success